Now, last week, we brought you the heartwarming story of a little girl who wrote a letter to Father Christmas 120 years ago. That letter, penned by five-year-old Marjorie Pennington from Eastbourne, was asking for some toy ducks and chickens, a canvas stocking and some ribbon for her cat. Yeah, cattykins, wasn't it called? Yeah, it was. Yes. <laughs> now it's being displayed in a shop window in Canterbury and the staff there are very keen to find out who Marjorie was. So now, with a bit of help from some amateur genealogists, we've tracked down some of her grandchildren. John Hunt reports. Dear Father Christmas. The mystery behind the charming 19th century letter from five-year-old Marjorie to Father Christmas has now been solved. Can you please bring us some little toy ducks and chickens for a present? My name is Susan and Marjorie was my grandmother. This is a photo of Marjorie Pennington taken in the year her innocent Christmas wish list was written. And the fact it's turned up now has delighted her family. Well, I thought it was just amazing that that it should have survived for 120 years to start with. And then that it should be attached to me was even more amazing. <laughs> and I think it's just so sweet, the thing she's asked for. Susan still has dozens of postcards Marjorie sent to her mother in the early 1900s when she was a teenager studying in Germany. She married in 1918 to a former officer of the British Army. We found Susan with the help of amateur genealogists who searched for clues to Marjorie's past in public records. So on the letter I noticed that there was an address. Um, that address I was able to find on the 1901 census um, with Marjorie as a young girl with her family. Travelling forward from there I could see that she had indeed married, that she had two children. Um, one didn't have children um, so it left me with one person to trace. Um, and it was Beryl that I was able to trace and find her children. Wow! I showed photos of Marjorie to staff at the shop in Canterbury that discovered the letter. Since we featured her story last week, people have been coming here especially to see the letter for themselves. It is really quite heartwarming, really, to know that behind this very letter is a real... She was a real person. She actually existed and she actually had a childhood, then go on to adult life, and it's, it's really nice to actually find out behind, like, the, the woman behind like, what she grew into. According to Marjorie's family, she lived a quiet life here in Sussex. She played bridge, was a keen swimmer, and spoke fluent German. She died, though, in 1965 at the age of 72, buried here at St Dunstan's Church in Mayfield. But although she's gone, her memory is still living on in the most unexpected way. John Hunt, BBC South East Today in Mayfield. Now, for most schools, today.